through all these old photos and records of the past 100 years. It's like stepping backwards in time to some bygone era. Old letters, old photos, old minute books from meetings of people that happened 50 years ago or more. All of these people of the past, and although so much of the world as we know it has now changed, fashions, politics, technology, much of what brought the FIA together in the first place is still there. You can see all the old luncheons and award ceremonies, the debates, the coming together of the industry. It's all part of our ancestry, if you like. Our growth, our history, how we all started. The people that are part of the FIA today wouldn't be here without the individuals striving for a better and brighter future back then. You can see how a hundred years ago some bright sparks of the industry came together because they wanted to have a voice. They came together to form the Fire Extinguishing Trades Association. You can imagine how in 1916, when these companies first came together, that they had such ambition, such pride in their trade. My council feels sure you will be interested to learn that this association has been formed primarily to promote the study and improvement of the science of the extinction of fires in their incipient stages by means of the portable chemical apparatus, thereby reducing to a minimum the risks of destructive fires in munitions and other factories, warehouses, stores, docks, public and private buildings and residences. The membership represents the great majority of the manufacturing interests of the industries concerned. We offer, free of charge, our expert services to advise on the use of portable chemical fire appliances without any obligation to buy from the businesses so represented. One of the things that sticks out is a tremendous loyalty of the council members attending meeting after meeting over years and years, sometimes decades. We even have records of the very first meeting that council members attended, before the FIA as we know it today was formed. Reading back through, you get an overwhelming sense of loyalty to a cause. November the 23rd, 1916. The Secretary read a letter received from His Majesty's Office of Works in regard to the disposal of chemical extinguishers after the war, promising that the matter should be borne in mind when the time arrived. It was agreed that the matter should not be allowed to drop and that the Office of Works should be written to occasionally with regard to the matter. Peter survived both the First and Second World Wars, but after that you get another organisation begin to form with similar ideals. Item 3. Formation of the Association. The Memorandum and Articles of Association and Form of Appointment of the First Council having already been signed by Mr. Lander and Mr. Lepreyek were then signed by the other subscribers and the other necessary forms were signed by the Chairman. 
The committee was informed by Miss Martin that every effort would be made to have the company incorporated by July the 1st, 1966. It was decided that a press notice would appear in the National and Trade Press when the company was incorporated and Miss Martin was instructed to deal with the insertion. It's such a different time to what we're used to now. These days we have a website and an online technical library. A team in the office supporting all these different member organisations, helping them with technical queries and providing training. If we want to appear in the press, we just send an email. But back then, FITA and BFPSA were run all by hand. Handwritten letters to fire brigades and to government ministers. And an actual physical library of books on a variety of technical matters but nothing near as big as we have now. Of course, in 2007, FITA and BFPSA joined forces to become the FIA that we know and value today. But you look back at all these old books and letters and you sort of wonder, what drives these people? What brings them all together year after year? is pretty simple. We're more than just a group of companies. We're a community of professionals all striving for the same thing. To raise standards of public fire safety. And in celebrating our double anniversary I think we should be celebrating that too.